Hi, it's Vanessa here from Motive Nutrition, and today I'm sharing with you some quick tips to help simplify your menu planning. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Now you know that I'm a huge, huge advocate for meal prep, but there's a step that comes before the prep, which is the planning, and I thought I would spend a little bit of time talking about that with you today. The thought of menu planning for some people, I know when I approach it with clients, they seem really overwhelmed by it. We have this idea that it has to be this long, extensive, crazy process, but there's a way to simplify it so that it's easy. And the reason I want to simplify it is because it can be so liberating and helpful to do even just a little bit of menu planning for the week. Because when you know what you're going to eat, you first of all don't have to spend or waste time improvising meals at the last minute. It also avoids wasting time at the grocery store trying to figure out what to pull together. And it also saves energy because I don't know about you, but the simple thought of having to wonder what will be what we'll be eating for dinner, it's 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 very draining. And so when you plan that out in advance over on a weekend when your stress level is low and you have nothing else to really worry about, then it really frees up that mind space for other things during the week. Not to mention, menu planning definitely saves you a little bit of money, right? Because you can go straight to the store, buy only what you need, and it also avoids any unnecessary runs to the restaurant or takeout or things like that. So I've got three really simple, quick tips that you can implement in your menu planning routine that will help you save some time. One of the overwhelming things that clients tell me they feel when they look at a blank menu is that there's so many options, they don't know where to start. And so when you create themes for every single day, meaning you associate every day with either a type of ingredient or a type of recipe, it really just narrows things down. You can do a meatless Monday, you can do a taco Tuesday, you can do a fish-based Wednesday, and so on and so forth. And once you've gone ahead and you've themed your meals for the week, all you have to do is to pull some inspiration from some of your favorite recipe books, some websites, some magazines, certain blogs, and you just kind of fill in the gaps on a week to week basis. What's fun about theming your meals is that it creates a little bit of a routine in the household and people could get excited about what to expect from one week to the next. And it allows people to kind of pitch in and contribute some ideas a little bit more easily. And one last thing to consider when you're theming your days is to consider what your calendar looks like on each day of the week so you can theme your days accordingly. So what I mean by that is, I know in my life there are a few nights of the week where I finish a little bit later and so I need to make sure that when I come home the meal is really easy, quick to prepare and ready. There are some other nights that I don't need a dinner at all because I'll be working late and I'll be seeing clients until 9 or 10 p.m. and so I'll make sure not to plan a meal that night or at least have something that I could bring along with me. This is exactly as it sounds. You essentially use the leftovers from the dinner meal as your lunch for the next day. And what this does is it allows you to simply focus your menu planning on your dinners. You'll notice how fast your entire weekly menu fills up. So I tell all of my clients to do this. I do this myself. When you've completed your menu plan for the week and you've written out the grocery list that you need to kind of go alongside with it, staple them together and don't throw it away, keep it. And then what happens is if in a few weeks you run into a really overwhelming weekend, you're too busy to plan, you can just pull up an old plan and you've got all of the grocery list done and ready for you and you can just roll with it. And so what this means is if menu planning is something that you really don't like to do, because I know a lot of you don't, then what I really want you to focus on is trying to be consistent for at least four or five weeks in a row and save all of your plans. And then basically you can do what big institutions do. They create what they call cyclical menus. And so after five weeks, menu number one comes back and you can just kind of keep going until you get tired and want to switch things up. So there you have it with my three tips to simplify your meal planning. Tip number one was all about theming your days of the week. Tip number two was all about using leftovers for lunch. And tip number three was all about saving those menu plans so you can reuse them later on. If you liked this video, please like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and tips like this. And I hope today's video gave you a little bit of motivation to live a very nutritious life 
Menu planning doesn't have to be complicated. It can be simple. Just do what you can. A little bit will go a long way. See you next time.